Well, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller, and I'm coming to you with the stories making headlines in the country. A very good morning. Thank you for keeping it the Buzz UG. Otherwise, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, Ugandans on different social media platforms are questioning why President Museveni's brother, Geno Salim Saleh, is not appearing anywhere in the public. Ever since Geno Eli Tumine passed on last week, Geno Salim Saleh has not made any comments, either in writing or verbally, on TV, radio, not even on his social media platforms, to the family of the deceased. I mean, Geno Saleh did not appear anywhere during the vigil. He did not appear anywhere during the prayers at Kololo. But also, we were expecting him to appear at the burial ceremony in Kazo, where Geno Eli Tumwine has been laid to rest, but still, the big man wasn't seen anywhere. And now, a section of Ugandans are questioning the government, where is the big man? Where is Geno Salim Saleh? Can you tell us? Meanwhile, this demand by a section of Ugandans comes after rumors making rounds on different social media platforms suggesting that Geno Salim Saleh is not doing well in hospital. Actually, he's in critical condition. And this information was also confirmed by Fred Kajubi Lumbuye, a renowned Ugandan blogger based in Turkey. However, we cannot confirm this information until any government official or any family member confirms that Geno Salim Saleh is not doing well in the hospital. But Geno Salim Saleh, if you're listening to me right now from wherever you are, you better come out. Otherwise, Ugandans want to see you alive. <laughs> Now, Jeno Eli Tumine's daughter at the burial of her father has again requested Ugandans to forgive their father for all that did not go right during his lifetime. And if you have been worried that Jeno Eli Tumine has died minus forgiving you who wronged him, the daughter says, worry no more because you are forgiven before he passed on. Forgiving those that have wronged us and asking for forgiveness from those that he wronged forgiving those that he wronged and asking for forgiveness from those that he wronged. Abu Dadi ya Showeize nienda kuwa shawa okusasirwa kandi nye mwaba mshoweize akaba sasira and na waku ijak tushoba ntuza kuwa sasira. That's to say that from this point onwards there's going to be so much but may we choose forgiveness from now. May we choose forgiveness from now and choose peace. For people who will try as much as possible to attack, may we choose forgiveness. I know that daddy taught us that so well. To and And the Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honorable Robin Anabanja, has revealed to the people of Kazo that General Eli Tumine gifted her with a cow before he passed on. The Prime Minister also said that General Eli Tumine was her mentor. Mama no chimanya na bana beken mu mwezi nkagumu enyuma kampelezete yagamba tandikirawo titukwenda hanyuma urugira mu prime minister kuija kandi kutandika kuchura okatuswaza ke ihanga so abaire na gondeza kugondeza okwendeza okwagaliza mu Luganda nete ye bangambire li hai kuzara e ya camp so that is the person ogunku ja kuzika saa hazin nyowe ko mtu abaire menta Tosobora kubo oli muntu omukitindi sakino ekindi otaina abanywani abagamba anu achamire kandi kyagamira achamire kiri nicyo so ningoza kumusima habo buganja ine uh, the Minister of Internal Affairs, Horrible Kahinda Otafire, at the send off ceremony of Geno Eli Tumine in Kazo, has described people celebrating Geno Tumine's death as stupid. Kahinda Otafire says, Geno Tumine was only telling you the truth that you never wanted to listen to. That is why right now you're celebrating because the Geno is no more. Kahinda Otafire also says it's your democratic and constitutional right to exercise your stupidity. 
Stupidity is not an offense. Umusuru, tumush, tumushangu. Tumukaza kwa mirumu, tumurumu suru. Tumuhire, akasho yaji. Yemi kura mba mrumu. Okuja mwa kana wa gambira mazuma. Amazuma shena gomba gamu hitera. Mwena wa wakujira wa gamba kuri tumuhire, mbarujio. Abo, 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 It's their democratic right to exercise their stupidity. Democratic and constitutional right to exercise their lack of information, sometimes stupidity. Omutu ya yafu ile, kumere mwa anmurwana, yafu ya randara, hati na achiri ya dui. Hata awaku ya umana tungina wengkuri ya wa social media, atachi wa saka wanga rukamu, omutu ya akutonga na nomu rambu, numujangu mutu wana ateri ye. Tumine has done what he could, he did what he believed in, he stood by his belief, and he has fulfilled his mission on earth. Well, there you go. I don't know what you make of these statements coming in direct from uh, Kazo District straight to your eardrum. In case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. Meanwhile, General Eli Tumine has been laid to rest in his home district of Kazo. May his soul rest in peace. The spokesperson of Uganda police in Masaka, Muhammad Tsubuga, has been arrested after he drank too much alcohol. It's reported that on Sunday, he walked to the pulpit in a particular church that side with smelly and dirty clothes and pushed away the priest who was preaching. He afterwards took a mat, laid it on the ground and offered himself a deep nap. But later, he was arrested by security at the church and handed over to police. We never did not it should be remembered that at the beginning of this month, this same guy, Muhammad Subuga, was promoted from assistant superintendent of police to a full superintendent of police. Now, in other news, while chairing the Tuesday parliamentary sitting, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, expressed concern about the increasing vice of members of Parliament failing to attend parliamentary sittings whenever controversial issues arise in the House. The money that people are using for paying us is from taxpayers. You are not in the constituency, you are not in the House, so where are you? Are you representing your people? She has now vowed to start writing warning letters to members of parliament who abscond from their constitutional mandate of representing the people who voted them into office. We are going to give you warning letters. I have a list of, your, of members who attend committees. I am calling all chairs, chairpersons of committees to come for a meeting. I want a list of members who attend committees and I have already a list of members who attend the house. The Speaker has also directed all members of Parliament to start clocking in and out in the biometric system of Parliament in addition to all committee chairpersons registering all members of Parliament that attend committee sittings. I urge you members always to clog in when you're entering in and clog out using the biometric system so that we are able to understand how many times you've attended the House. However, the members of Parliament are divided on the Speaker's move. So whatever statement a speaker is saying is actually true, but when it comes to implementation, you can write a letter. Someone looks at it, he may, come, he may just come for one hour or 20 minutes just to be caught by camera. The law is there. She has all the powers that if a member of parliament has disappeared for consecutive 15 sittings without notice, without reason, the speaker has powers to write to the member, either to explain, or the member can be expelled from parliament. She's also passing a vote of no confidence in the party whips because the party whips have literally failed. Because if the, if the speaker has to issue such a, a, an ultimatum, that means the party whips have, are, are lying down. Well, lastly, and this is coming in from the entertainment industry, Andrew Kabura's baby mama, Flavia Tumusime, is finally quitting radio. Flavia has been on 91.3 Capital Radio for 16 years and today she'll be doing her last show on the same radio. Flavia Tumusime Kabura through her social media platform said it's high time she quits radio and tries something else. However, she did not reveal the next step she's taking after here, but whatever it is, right here on the Buzz UG, we wish her all the best. 
Well, that's the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Big up on yourselves, all the Buzz diehards right here. I love you so big time. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you. So bye for now. Audio Jungle.